Question 11b. Use a trial and improvement method to find the value of x. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. You must show all your working. So we, we're told that x cubed minus 10x must equal 100. So when you're trying to find roughly where about x should lie, an easy way to do this is to produce a table. Uh, we're going to look at the potential value of x, find out what our answer would be if we substitute that into the equation, and then see if that's our solution or not. Drawing the table like this is purely for organisation. Uh, is to keep our answers together, to keep them logical and in some kind of order. Now, because we're not told somewhere to start, we're going to have to. We start by trying to find which two whole numbers this lies between. Now, I'm going to guess around about four, because five cubed, five times five times five is 125, and we take away that, it's going to be take away 50. Well, actually, it's going to be somewhere bigger than five. So if we try 6 as our starting number, put 6 into the equation. So that's going to be 6 cubed, take away 60. 6 to the power of 3, take away 60. And that's 156. Now that's far too big. Just keep a note of this. It's too high. Now, 5 is going to be far too low. Because 5 times 5 times 5, say, that gives an answer of 75. So our answer is somewhere between these two whole numbers. And what we're going to try is fluctuate between these two values until we get something close. So the easiest thing to do is pick exactly in the middle, 5.5. So 5.5 cubed take away 55 111.375 which is too high so we know that we're going to have to try something a bit lower than this so we'll try 5.4 5.4 cubed take away 54 103.464 Again, that's still a little bit too high, but this slow process of elimination, trying something out and improving upon it, we're getting really close now, so I really doubt it's going to be 5.3. I think 5.3 will be too low, but you have to check it out. 5.3 cubed, take away 53, gives an answer of, yeah, 95. Point eight. Seven, seven. Now because that one's too low, we're almost there. We only want this to one decimal place. And there's a few ways of doing this. We want to find out which of these is numerically closer to our final value. It looks like 5.4, because that's only 3 away, and this one's over 4 away. Another way to check this is to find pick the value which is halfway between these two and see which one it lies closer to. We'll try 5.35. 5.35 cubed, take away 53.5. That gives us an answer of 99.630375. And that one's too low. So because this one's too low, it means it is actually closer to the one higher. So our answer to one decimal place is 5.4.